here is a uh, an especially visual magic trick with a uh, a little folded piece of paper. Now I've been lucky enough to be in magic for a long, long time. And one of the things you get to see when you're in magic for a long time is you get to see tricks and principles come and go. And many years ago, uh, back in the day, people used to use thimbles, thimbles, and they still use thimbles now if you're a seamstress or something. And for those of you who don't know, it's a piece of metal. It's basically a metal cap that fits over the finger and allows you to do darning and needlework. Uh, with a needle sewing and stuff like that without pricking your finger. It's sort of like, it's almost like a suit of armor for the tip of your finger or your thumb or your thumb as well. And they have them in rubber now, but they used to have in the metal. And anyway, there's a whole bunch of really cool, beautiful things you could only do with thimbles. So I was playing around one day uh, and uh, one of my, uh, my kids uh, was doing origami and they were folding a piece of paper. And I realized that one of the patterns is this little cap, this little cap here. Very simple. So I want to share some ideas with you around this and reclaim some beautiful techniques. Uh, it's not a card trick. It's not a coin trick. It's not mentalism. Uh, I've done a quick few things in walk around situations, cocktail parties with kids and a whole bunch of things. I want to share that all with you now. I want to share an idea with you with a little black uh, top hat, or like a magic thing. I want to share a signed version with you, something very cool, really powerful piece of magic you can do where they sign it. Um, I want to show you how simple this is. You can use a, a piece of paper, a magazine. Uh, I've even on the fly a uh, takeout bag from McDonald's, uh, the, pa the paper from a takeout bag, a newspaper. You can easily, I want to show you how you can do it, how quickly you can fold one of these together and some really cool magic ideas all with this. On today's video, I'm also going to announce the winners of last week's Pandora's Box winners. Okay, Pandora's Box is always with my stuff. Check it out at sankeymagic.com. The Pandora's Box gimmick can be used on any card case, and you immediately can change the card case into this very cool magic machine. Vanishes, appearances, transformations. Whole bunch of really cool stuff with that. So I'm going to announce the winners here of last week's, and I want to jump right into the question of the week. And then we'll get I'm looking forward to sharing all these uh, little bits and pieces and techniques with you guys. Uh, this week, I want to give you a chance to win one of my VIP, which is Very Intimate Predictions. One of the strongest for sure prediction tricks I've ever created. Very powerful. Uh, so much you can do with this. Uh, it comes with a coin pouch. It comes with a notepad and the very special principle and thinking and presentation behind all that VIP. Definitely not only one of my strongest, but probably one of my best selling mentalism um, tricks. I've ever released over many years. So I want to give you a chance to win one of those with a question of the week. Here it is, the question of the week. If you could fold a piece of paper, and this little piece of paper here, I want to make sure you get a clean shot of it. And I don't know, what would you say it looks like? Um, it looks a little like, a, I don't know, a rosebud in a bit, or a rose, uh, a little hat, a little cap, in this case, I'm going to teach you some stuff. So it looks like, and if you go uh, on Google, of course, or YouTube, and you uh, Google uh, origami, it's amazing all the different shapes they can make, and the animals, and the creatures, and all the stuff they can make it look like. So let me ask you this. For the question of the week, leave a comment and tell me. If you could fold a piece of paper, just in a matter of, I don't know, 30 seconds, and make it look like anything. I mean anything. It could look like a rocket ship. could look like, um, a, oh my God, a raccoon with rabies complete. Uh, it could look like anything. What would you do? And maybe part of your magic show, maybe just a weird skill. If you could fold a piece of paper, okay, to look like anything in the world and really look like it, what would you choose to have the ability to make it look like? What would it look like? Anything in the world, leave a comment down below and let, and answer that question for your chance to automatically be entered into the, uh, what am I giving away? That's right, the, uh, the VIP, Very Intimate Prediction. All right, in a moment I'm going to announce the winners from the Pandora's box last week. I'm going to do that in just a moment, but for now, let's jump on in here. Let me come around here so you can see my friends. Is I swing up and it kind of, it happens... Um, I, I sort of, I'm here as I, I, I come down to a point and I swing up. It's on my down, it's on my down point that I'm going to curl my finger, okay? And I'm going to um, clip, clip it um, between my thumb, okay? My thumb and the crotch of my thumb, here to there, okay? Now what this allows me to do is I can take this, curl it in, steal it off by pinching it, here on the thumb, okay? And because of where it's left, notice that I can quite easily then on the offbeat take my finger, push it back and push it right back inside for a reappearance, all right? 
when we have a coin and we show a coin and we're holding the coin, notice this nice little thing too. You can also do some very nice, it's about the size of a half dollar. So, I mean, you would swear that you see this go into the hand and be left there, okay? But I'm doing a retention vanish, okay? So this is really a beautiful multi-use little thing. Here, uh, I can do a quick little thing where this is here, apparently take it, uh, give it a squeeze, and then it reappears, of course, back on my finger. I can do a stand-up thing, of course, uh, or I could do it, let's assume I'm standing up here, where I take this, put it in here, apparently put it in there, and make it jump from here, and it reappears under my arm, okay? So sort of a great thing to walk up to a table, uh, and you could just even just walk up, show your hands, and immediately do this vanish, okay? And then again, because I can slip my finger back in, I can reappear. So that's the very basic thing you can do with that is this nice vanish and reappearance and that kind of thing. However, let me now jump in and show you how easy it is to make one of these. And then I want to share a few more really cool ideas with you, including this idea where the, uh, the spectator signs it. This is about two and a half inches. And I measured these. I'm going to admit that right now. But I've often made this on the fly. All that matters is that it's square. That's the key to origami. As long as one side matches the other side, it can be small, big, or huge, okay? A standard origami sheet is, in fact, or not standard, but a very common organized side. And here, just on the fly, you're seeing it live, is about that big, okay? And again, it's a rough square. You don't have to be exact. A yellow piece of paper is great for visuals, uh, but like I said, you can use a newspaper. You can use a tear, take a takeout bag, tear it, a paper napkin. There's so many uses, okay? So once I've made sure my two sides okay, are about... Two and a half each. What I'm going to do here is just tear this here, pull it apart. And again, no scissors required. You know about this. As long as there's a nice firm fold, I should be able to then also just pull this. There we go, like, like that. Now, this is it. Super easy. I'm going to take one corner to one corner here, basically dividing it in half, okay? That's the first part. Always scoring it, okay? Because you want this... Uh, the more, uh, sort of the more cleanly you fold this, the more strongly it's going to hold its fold. And with that in mind, I'm going to take this and double it back. So the first thing I just fold in half, boom, done. Repeat, exact same thing on the other angle, okay? So folding it this way and folding it this way. So that gets me that uh, sort of a plus sign going through from corner to corner, right? Now, I'm going to take this one side of it, it's a half sign and I'm going to fold it over, not right to the middle. I'm going to fold it to pretty much halfway from this point to this point. And I want you to see it. Okay. So I'm just folding it over, increasing it on. That's it. That's all. You can go back and forth if you want. We don't need any detail. Okay. Now, you have a choice here. But let me, you can either turn it around and repeat the same angle, or you can actually do it over. So let's assume I folded it once this way. Now I'm just going to revert, do the exact same thing right over it, okay? Right over on this side. I'm going to put that up like this. Okay. You can see the little hat is coming together, a little cap. So fold it half one way, fold it half the other, then this, and this like this. Now the only thing you, the most important thing to remember is to finish. I'm almost, I'm done. It's just fold, fold, and you're done. So it takes seconds. And what a great souvenir you leave for people, right? Okay. And obviously for kids, if you do magic for kids, this is perfect too. Teach them this little thing and you can ha even go around with a, uh, sheets of pre-cut little, and they can do it, you can do it. And what a great way to kill time at a crappy gig. So you're here. I was engaging with the kids the whole time. I'm going to now uh, split this in half. I'm going to fold half on one side, half on the other side. Okay. And that locks everything into place. And that's it. Okay, now I can open this up and I have this beautiful little cap. I come up, I load it in, and then I go down. Okay, now, when you go back into your hand, this might, you might think, well, when, like, does this gesture look a bit awkward like that? It does, but you only hold it for a beat and it shouts empty. In theater, it's so important to exaggerate something to make a point. If I did it real casual, you may not believe it actually went in. Whereas if I really emphasize it, okay, if I really emphasize it, now you, you know it went in, and then my right hand relaxes to my side or into my lap or whatever. So you can put it in sort of like a coin retention vanish, okay, and boy, it looks good, I think you'll agree. Or I can turn the hand upside down and swing it in. And this really works better when pulling, it almost looks like I grab this and pull this off. I grab it and pull it off. 
Boom. I mean, how convincing is that? But it's in here. So it's just about mirror practice. So uh, once you've made one or taken one out of your pocket, whatever, you can, of course, do the vanish, like I said, make it vanish. You could do, uh, I mean, sort of if, if it appeals to your style, you could do a little pantomime kind of thing with a whistle. I'm here, pretend to put it in my hand, throw it up in the air, and then as I go, and I bring my hand down, uh, everyone's looking up at this point. First, they look here when it goes in. Then I throw up. I look up. They look up just for a beat long enough for you to load it back on your finger. Up and then down. And it's back down here. A little bit of pantomime, okay? Take it one step further. Put it in the hand here. Give it a squeeze. Turn the hand back to the audience so that when you open your hand, you get a beat. Notice that if I open this, they immediately want to look at the other hand or look around. But if I do this and especially cramp the thumb, now they're going to wait until this. And that gives me plenty of time to get this back on, right? And I can do uh, here, here. And if I've held my arm in, now I can come up and either it's already on my finger and I just pretend to pull it out. Or I can go next level on this, where you're here, here, here. And this is my finger still showing like this, like this. My finger still showing. Then as I go up, I load it on and come out as if it's traveled up the arm, okay? Now, the third thing I can do is make it go to my pocket, right? If I have a duplicate already in my left pants pocket, and this is better done stand up, but I'll just sort of show you this. I can take this, do this, make it vanish, and then it reappears over here in my finger. Okay, then I can make it vanish and it vanishes from here and reappears under my arm on this. Okay, I can do a third thing where either I can do the coin vanish, axe back to it, or still use that no longer used thimble vanish, but boy, it looks good. Make it vanish here. Look surprised it's not here. Then the hand holds focus as I go into my pocket now and find that lo and behold, did I just drop it on the floor? Lo and behold, it's now in my pocket. There we go. Sorry. Boom, and it reappears in my pocket, okay? So now I'm one ahead. Now I can do some stuff, right? If you're an uh, intermediate sleight of hand person, you know now you can go into things, different kinds of things. Two last things I want to share with you here. First, let's do the Pandora's Box winners. Pandora's Box, you guys won. Noodle games. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, what do you say for vegans? Winner, winner, legume dinner. Winner, winner, legume dinner. Not as, it doesn't have that. K sounds. It's K sounds. Um, what do you say about that? Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying Kinzu, but that's not it. <laughs> Noodle Games, Christopher London, Leon Smooth, Chris Tra Dransfield, Chris Dransfield, Mary Zachary, Carl Johnson, Stefan Redwater, Jellemo, you know who you are, J-E-L-L-E-M-O, Jellemo, Jason Copeland, Tyler G, Stephen Maines, and finally, wish me luck, Kevin Lorenzel. I did it. That's nice. Kevin Lorenzel. You guys all won. Contact my team. Send them your real name, your YouTube name, a con send an email to contact at sankeymagic.com. Oh my God, Jay's finally stroking out. <laughs> send uh, to contact at sankeymagic.com. Give them your real name, your YouTube name, and your shipping address, and they will send you the Pandora's box gimmick. You're going to love it. Okay, you guys won. Uh, last couple of ideas with this. First, notice if you make one out of a white piece of paper, then get out your black marker. You can make a little magic hat. If you perform for kids, this is perfect. You obviously you walk up to a table or a group of kids, whatever. So a fa family party, and you walk up and say, excuse me, yeah, I'm sorry. Did anybody lose this really tiny magic top hat? Did anybody use it? Did you lose it? Did anybody lose it? And now you can go right into it. If you have a duplicate or this or that, you're in that great situation where you've been able to bring this little magic top hat and make it vanish and reappear and whatever you want. Okay, so that's one idea. Last thing I want to share with you. This is very cool. Uh, there's, and again, if you're wanting to not only do some visual magic here, but go from sort of a sleight of hand, magical, kind of playful vibe to oh my god, miracle status, get someone to sign their name across, uh, again, a piece of paper you tear from them, cross their name, okay? Not from uh, flat to flat, but from corner to corner, they sign their name, okay? Now, if you fold it, you're now. I'm now going to fold it so that their name is uh, vertically inside my fold, okay? It's inside, vertically. Now, when I create the fold that we've been talking about, one flap, one flap, this and this, you have created something very cool, a great souvenir and also a very magical item because their signature is on the inside there. But from the outside, you can do magic stuff. I make it vanish, make it change, make it move around, whatever. You can do stuff with it um, where you're still doing magic, but it's not obvious it's signed the entire time. So you can be using a duplicate. Okay, where's my little duplicate here somewhere? If you have your duplicate, do I only have the one? There it is. Okay. 
So if you've got a duplicate already made up that looks much the same, torn from, uh, uh, you know, pre-torn, I mean, you really want to go next level. Then what you do, of course, is you grab a McDonald's bag before you even do this, tear out, a, tear out the, the, you know, two and a half inch or a square piece, quickly fold it up, and that's your duplicate that's in your pocket, right? So that can be in your pocket. Boom. Then borrow someone you know, next time you go to lunch borrow someone's take out a mcdonald's bag tear off the corner be real cash have them sign their name across the corner fold it up so they've got this right so now you can take this and you can say you know you can do your vanish here and it can reproduce over here you can do your vanish again and it reappears inside where i got it here here it is inside my pocket and lo and behold it's inside your pocket again like this and you're in a very cool situation right if i for example have my wallet in my back pocket I have my wallet in my back pocket, and I have the duplicate here. This is the signed one. I can take this, all right, here, and I say I'm standing up, but it's going to work better, buddy. I can take this, do the vanish once, it reappears over here. Do it again like this, and it reappears in, I say it's going to reappear in my pocket, and I, where is it? I take this out of my back pocket, my wallet out of my back pocket. I'm looking for it. It's not there, but my hand's obviously empty. Then my left hand goes into my pocket here, and I find it here. Now, what I did was when I took the wallet out, I loaded the hat under here. Okay, So, by getting ahead like that, I can take out the wallet, put that aside. Where is it? Oh, here it is here. So now I'm in a crazy position. I can take two steps away from my friends at the school lunchroom, whatever, and that's under there, right? So if I just take this... Make it vanish, boom, like this. Or let's say I'm even seated. Okay, take the wallet out. If I'm even seated, I can take this, of course, and say, watch. Put it right up my nose. And, of course, what I did was drop it down there. I love that, okay? Drop it down there. It's vanished. And then I say to someone, would you lift up the wallet or lift up your wallet or the coffee cup or whatever? And, of course, they find, boom, it's underneath. And there is their signature, just in case. And you'd never say, oh, just in case you think I'm using two, take a look, it's still signed. You'd never say that. Let them pick it up. And if they, if anybody's thinking maybe, or, and then, of course, they can check it out. And there's their signature. And what a great little souvenir that is like that. All right. There you have it. Very cool thing, me trying to reclaim the uh, the wonderful Thimble Vanish. Uh, because boy, oh boy, uh, it really does. I think you'd agree. It really does look uh, like a great vanish. It looks really good. Thank you so much for watching. More stuff coming on the way. Uh, please, as always. Now, uh, I've mentioned a couple of times that some of the stuff, or, or all the things I'm giving away, are at sankeymagic.com. This website of mine, this, this is my merchandise site, sankeymagic.com, it's got almost 100 uh, products for all skill levels. You can search and there's beginner stuff, super easy. There's intermediate, there's advanced. It's all there. There's three different skill levels on there. Almost a hundred uh, products. There's downloads, DVDs, gimmicks, all these kinds of things. And most of them are only available in the whole world exclusively through my site. So for any of you who want to support me, uh, or we'll check out, the, I think my strongest stuff over the last several years is all there. If you want to support me, cut out the middleman and just uh, purchase stuff directly through my site. I'd appreciate that. You can check it out right here. Boom. SankeyMagic.com. That's my merch site. And please, if you're enjoying these videos, boom, subscribe to this channel. I do appreciate it. Stay safe. All my best. All my love to you, your family, your community. Hey, all of us, man. All of us.